Now, of course, in a survival situation, we hear stories about how people drink their own urine like this. But does it really work? Well, the fact of the matter is, when you get dehydrated, you have a drop in your blood pressure. And as that happens, it means that the kidneys can actually become damaged through lack of blood flow. And what would happen? Well, of course, they lose the ability to filter the urine and all the blood that's flowing through it. So, you start to get a build-up of toxins within the body, and the urine that you produce is concentrated and just full of all the things that you don't want. Now, if I were to drink this, what would happen to me? Well, it's fairly concentrated. I don't think it's very nice. It wouldn't taste good. It would probably make me very sick. And all I would be doing is putting back in the toxins, like urea, which is a breakdown of protein metabolism, back into my body. There is no benefit to this. Yes, it might quench my thirst briefly, and it may marginally bring up my blood pressure, but that's all short-term gains. The long-term damage is the fact that you're going to hurt your kidneys even more. The insult would be worse, and your kidney function would even decline further. If this was, say, my friend's urine, what would happen? Well, if you were to drink your friend's urine, the same things are going to happen. You're going to feel sick, you're going to feel stupid, and it's not going to impress anyone. Now, the fact of the matter is that in a survival situation, drinking your own urine is not beneficial. In fact, it can push up your urea levels even higher, which will make you drowsy and push you into a coma that can lead towards death. So because I'm not in a survival situation, and because I'm standing here in modern day setting, I'm going to leave my urine aside. I think I'm just going to have a